Well, it is really dark here, but welcome back, everyone, to more Hogwarts Legacy. Faster. Thank you so much for all the love and support that you've given on this series. It really and truly means a lot to me, and I'm really loving, like, playing even the side missions along with the main missions, so I'm just gonna keep that up, I guess you could say. I'm not gonna really, like, skip anything that this game has to offer, because I believe that's what really brings the true beauty of it out, so... That being said, leave a like for more Hogwarts Legacy if you guys want to see more parts quick. And as always, everyone, let's continue onward and forward. I need to race now, my friend. With this I amazing this. game. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the Centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. It's really dark. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <sighs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. That's it? Huh. 
Okay. Guess we can do this one for now. Speak with Nazi again. Okay, she's right over there. So... Let me just travel here. Then I'll fly the rest of the way. What are you up to now? All right, up, up, and away. Let's go. Time to go a little quicker. I almost got enough for that last broom that. upgrade. Or is it just the second upgrade? Hmm. Oops. I mean to hit the tree. Dropping in. All right, Natsy. Where you at? Are you ready to put an end to Halo? Yes, I am. Let's do this. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the hog's head, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Philbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. I can't really... Slow down now. There we go. And I'm in Hogsmeade. It's gonna be beautiful actually. Hello? Probably up here. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Daisy Rabe? I presume? Oh, Isco. Hey. What have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give, and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. I'll try not to. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. 
Yo, can we just talk about that last episode, though? That was so crazy. But it was really well done. I just wish it wasn't bugged as it was. That was a little annoying. I should check that. Please tell me you didn't take it. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Oh. We're on the right track. We're going to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Let's see, let's see. Right up here. Hmm. Must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Hey. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. <laughs> Let's go find her. She's probably like right outside the city. Most likely. <laughs> I love doing this.
One more time. Easy to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Okay, so going all the way back to where we came from. That he must be around here somewhere. Natty? Revelio. Natty's wand. Uh oh. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. That's not good. Hey, there's the moon. Another one of those moons. Can I do it though? Let's see. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Wait. There we go. Uh, nope. It won't let me. Won't let me forward time. Dang. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> what? Revelio. Looks like it went out this way. Outside. Natty must have been taken oh, this way. No. I need to find her quick. That's not good. The footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Yep. So let's just go ahead and do this. Accio. Oh, looks like we gotta pull it all the way out. A hidden door. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Oh, man. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Revelio! Okay, can't get seen. Alive. Only a Hogwarts. Revenue. Enough to come in here alone. What, what? Just keep on. Oh my God. <laughs> Lower Hogsfield needs some stocks after our little visit. Well, if you weren't so forgetful, we'd probably. Oh, Larsity is playing tricks. Be on the lookout for the girl's friend. Not enough to try to come through here. Shoot. Easy does it. Alright, we're good. Down you go. I've had enough of Felton. Wizard mannequins. No, thank you. I've had my share. I've had my fill of mannequins. Don't want any more mannequins in this game. Turn my back oh, shoot. one second and what happens? Calamity. The very moment I don't have every one of you standing in my line of sight is a disaster. And the first one of you is trying to pin it on me. You can count the minutes to speak Ooh. your last word. Oh, you're wasting your time with her, my friend. I gotta get past her somehow. Can I just. Can I just climb up? I don't trust Ranrock, I'll tell you that. He'll turn on us first chance he gets. Oh god. Ooh. My mother used to always say a clear head makes way for a clear path. I don't know what your path is, since your head's never seen a clear tie. Level 30. I read in Rockborough more times than I can count. They're incapable of defending themselves. Call out for me all you want. I shall be off spending my 
any spoils in Hogsmeade. I may go to Hogsmeade later, stir up some trouble. They need to be reminded that we're still running things. All right, go, 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 go. I don't think I'm going to get past her. Pretty sure I'm not. Yep. <laughs> that was sick. He must be here somewhere. Revelio. I think I got past. Oh no. No, I didn't. Oh, nuts. Now, I think so. Let's do this. Uh... Easy. Skeletons in here now? Great. Great. Nice. There she is. Mr. Rabe, Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natty was not able to summon Revelio. It must be blocked by something. Well, I only see one thing. Are they down here okay I love how I didn't want to get spotted by anyone but still ended up getting spotted I love it there it is Rapes one could be in there Got it. If not, Mr. Rabe's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Revelio. Love letter. Now, where do you think that would be? Thank you, Mr. That looks promising. There's a letter. The book of poems that was taken from Agabus. Oh, Philbert. book of poems. Never mind. The letter must be up here.
There it is. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Let's go under here. Revelio. Hmm. Hang on. I think I know what we do here. Accio. Mignardium Leviosa. It worked. I can't see Revenue. anything. Okay. On my way back. Find a way out of Ashwinder's hideout. Okay. Well, I found everything. Let's just go. While collecting some money in the process. Revelio. I can't see anything, yo. Hang on. This is crazy. Lumos. Lumos. All right, here we go. Let's and we're gone. And put an end. There she is. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you. The troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Officer Singer again. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Sweet. All right, let's see what's next.